Hey, happy Sunday, y'all. So, y'all know. If you know me, then you know. Fruit. Fruit. It's like my all-time favorite. I feel like it's my favorite thing to eat because I eat some fruit every day, some form of fruit. Always have I love. Yes, I've brought in the horizon and stepped out and ate all kind of different kinds since I've become a grown woman. I do the same thing with my children and they tend to fall in love with what I fall in love with, minus my oldest. Mm. Let me talk about what we got here, because baby, <laughs> if you've never tried cotton candy grapes, hmm, let me just say, you are missing girls. I got some cotton candy grapes. I got some black grapes. I got them cotton candy grapes. And market just buy them on black grapes from Maya. Let me tell y'all something about Maya. They are very reasonable, and their produce has stood the honor of receiving the best, sweetest fruit every summer for years. Years and years and years, okay? I got me some dragon fruit. Yes, ma'am. Got that from Maya. Now, these mango, this type of mango, this yellow, I forgot how to pronounce it. Somebody can help me. I will say, when I was slicing this, I took a little, because I am also love fruit so much that while I'm preparing it i eat it <laughs> now don't eat it in the grocery store that's for sure no ma'am gotta get on and wash it got me some strawberries y'all know i love strawberries and then i mean i've made every type of dessert <laughs> with strawberries uh, so yes back to these cotton candy grapes oh mm. they mm. You don't need no candy, let me just say. You don't need nothing sweet. This is all the sugar you need, sis. So what I'm gonna say about this blouse, I got this from Forever 21. And it was one of the things I got, so I had some cute things to put on for making these videos. Who knew the world was gonna shut down? Who knew? Been having this for a while, but it's new. The lines, sis, <laughs> the lines are not arranged correctly. So, these lines, to me, for my shape, should be going this way. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Let me stand up so you guys can see. Let me fix this camera. Okay. See, it's cute, it's cute. See, it does all that in the back. This will be wonderful on the job. It covers. It comes in where it's supposed to. Y'all know what we be on. Let me, let me come on back down. All right. So, let's go back to my fruit. So, lately, I don't see a lot of people stressing um, excuse me, they're losing loved ones. They don't know if the people, the person who they're laying next to every night really loves them. Their children are driving them crazy. Some are losing their children. Like, you would think when they close the city down, <clears throat> it would stop crying, but it didn't. It just didn't. Because for as long as humanity exists, crime is going to exist. What I did this morning was I got up. And I got dressed like I had somewhere to go. So I could do this video with y'all. That's Savannah. If y'all can hear Savannah, that's Savannah. Mm. I'm also 
using my new ring light right now. Y'all like that light? Feel for my skin? Okay, okay, sis. I see you. <laughs> I also got up and played with my face a little bit. Because Lord knows I have hundreds of dollars worth of makeup that I never touch. Because every time I go somewhere and I see something, I buy it with the intentions on using it. But if you know anything about being a mom of multiples, and when you get up in the morning and you're getting dressed and stuff, <laughs> makeup is out the question. <laughs> Excuse me. I had to juice her up today. This was super fluffy. In my last video, this is just my go-to, my everyday. It's fun, it's fancy. Girls are not to be tamed. I feel like I'm not to be tamed. It just goes with my personality more. And they say, girl, how do you sit up and eat dragon fruit? <laughs> just like this. Mm. Now look, I've had sweeter dragon fruit, but as you know, fruit, some taste better than others, depending on your taste buds. This baby is actually delicious. It's the texture. Mm. 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 Now, excuse me. <clears throat> you guys will realize I burp all the time, whether I'm eating. I'm talking, the air just gets on down in my tummy. And it's very uncomfortable, so it always wants to come out. And this may go, y'all. Let's try this out. Come back up. That mango, maybe I could cook with it. <clears throat> Woo! Was it way too sweet? Woo! It was like. A lemon, Ooh. Ooh. a lemon with, I don't know, I can't talk about can it. I, I want them, mommy. Can I taste it? Mm. Can I taste it? Mm. I'll save some for you. Believe me, I won't be eating it. Okay. So, y'all, let me tell y'all something. You never underestimate a person and their potential. A lot of people who do public speaking now and chose to write books and stuff did not think they were going to be doing that when they actually did it. But I'm going to tell you right now, the book I am reading right now, babe, it is written by Common. That man right there. It is called Let Love Have the Last Word. I'm just like, <laughs> this book is all things love. And this will relate to every type of relationship in your life, okay? And 
Perspective is everything. Perspective is everything. Forgiving. Forgiveness is everything. I just love that book. I'm not going to give away no spoilers. None. But let me tell you something. Once you start, you won't be able to stop. For one, it's just amazing to me to hear a black male talk about love and express himself in the most vulnerable way. Talk about his ups and downs and all the things he's been through and how much he just yearns to have that unconditional agape love with his significant other for the rest of his life. It's just amazing. Cause it's almost like, it's almost like <clears throat> you think they don't know when in reality they know they just don't think it's going to happen for them and a lot of time it was because of how they were raised or what they were brought up around what people defined love to them was because let me tell you something love is taught you have to teach your children how to love not love but in love if and love maybe, you have to teach your children how to love on all levels, no matter what. And I mean, if you don't, if you don't, you might end up having a child <laughs> that has children <laughs> and almost 32 years old and unmarried. <clears throat> so, it's just an understanding. It's almost like people should go to college for love and finances. Like if you do not know how to love and you don't know how to manage your finances, how are you going to make it in this world? Like those two things are so important and they're the two things that's not talked about in grade school. When you go into a, any educational setting, your brain just automatically turns into a sponge of just, you go into this mode of learning. Like you're here to just grab and grab and grab. You just want to absorb everything around you. And I mean, I, I feel like those are the best settings to teach about financial uh, literacy and love. <laughs> How to control your emotions, how to deal with them, uh, how to validate other people's feelings, how to be empathetic. Listen, listen, ladies, you're going to be right one-on-one -on -one with me when I say this. There are so many males that do not know how to be empathetic. Empathetic. Listen, now, all my life, I thought that they only, I'm not going to say all my life. Thank you, Donnie. <laughs> he's, telling me, he's telling me I look good. I'm doing a good job. That's my four-year-old. He's my executive producer. Anywho, <laughs> I cannot explain this enough. I really thought that they only knew how to be empathetic with their male counterparts because I seen that display. And for some, that might be true because it's like this boy code, this, um, give me one second. Eric, oh, sorry, I keep getting all these notifications. This is getting a little more fancy. Anywho, I actually realized that they don't want to show empathy to someone who has hurt them or they feel intimidated with. So, they're bros, they're on this level of bro to bro, man to man, you understand what I'm going through, boo, you know, this type of thing. And they shake up and they're like, yeah, man, I'm sorry to hear about your moms, man. You know, uh, let me know if I need anything. Or, yeah, bro, sorry you lost that job, bro. I, I can get you on in my job. Like, they find ways to relate to me from male to male. They find ways to do it in and it just you just sit back and be shocked. Am I the only woman <laughs> that sit back and be like, 
Now you could come up with all that strategy and problem solving skills <laughs> when it comes to your bros. But when it comes to your woman or your children, you're like, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you come up with. All right, whatever you say. Whatever you want. Okay, cool. And that's it. You're just like, so. I also want to talk about real quick. In his book, I, I'll just say, I don't want to give away no spoilers. But he talks about his relationship with his father. <clears throat> now, it wasn't necessarily tarnished or it wasn't necessarily toxic. It was just distant. And my motto is the only way to be there is to be there. Like, there's no way you can be that parent through the phone 3,000 miles away. I'm sorry. It just... The only way you can be there in that moment is be there. And then if you can't be there, you really, you really need to be working hard to keep that connection flowing. And every child requires something different. So you might have a child that does not necessarily require you to be in the flesh, to feel loved, and to feel seen because when somebody loves you and admire you, that means they see you. They see you. And it might have took me. Sorry, y'all. These little big lips. Is. There's not much. A couple bites in my lips is back. Empty. <clears throat> so they go through this thing where, and I'm about to lose my camera in a few minutes. They go through this phase where. Okay, I'm back. So. You want to feel seen. You want to feel heard. And even if you are going, please excuse me. Give me one second. So, especially something about about nine years old for boys, about 11 for girls. And up. They really want to, like, see your face. They want to feel your emotion. They want your physical touch. They want you to give your opinion on everything. Even if they act like they don't want it, they want it. Because they're paying attention to everything you're doing. Their memory is working. And these are the dreams and these are the moments that they'll remember for the rest of their life. So, I say that to say this. Every time he spoke of his father... I mean, especially the last moments that he spent with him, it was just, I could just feel the love through his words. I could just feel the admiration, the emotion. Um, I even dropped a tear when he spoke of the last moments and all of that because it was just that real. It was just that real. When you have someone expressing themselves in a vulnerable way and being totally honest with you about the things that they've done wrong and the things that the other person might have done wrong or things they have forgiven them for. And I'm telling you, you don't want to get it wrong with your children. He also talked about his relationship with his daughter. And I'm not going to give no more because I'm telling you that book, that book, that book. And honestly, I'm not, I'm not getting paid for this. But Audible, <laughs> I love Audible. His book is read in his voice. So as he's saying things, it's in his voice. It's just the way he talks, you know? And it's amazing. It actually helps you relate to it more. And you don't want to stop listening. 
Okay, I'm going to quit talking about that book because I want you to go read it. Excuse me. Another book that I just finished right before that was, what else was this right before that? Oh, I kind of been hitting and missing a little bit. Was The Last Mrs. Parrish. Listen, <laughs> it's amazing how many people want something so bad. And they're willing to do anything in the world to get it. And baby, when they get it, they can't handle it. When you bite off more than you can chew. When you beg and you pry, you deceive. And you hurt and you tarnish so much to get somebody else's man. And baby, when you get him, what a tsunami disaster. What a slap in the face, okay? Now I say at that point, y'all deserve each other, okay? But in this book, it was amazing to see the transitions of how the wife, the original his first wife, was able to navigate her way out of a horribly abusive, controlling relationship. Now, he had big bands. Now, see, when you got that money, things look a little different and promising. And people believe in you. And people think you're like the best man in the world. And families, you know fall in love with you and they trust you with their daughters and they let you move them halfway across the country and all these things but it doesn't necessarily say that you are really are a good man unless the daughter comes out and say well behind closed door things are actually fantastic when most of the time they're not but i listen that book <laughs> amber honey <laughs> i can't even i just want y'all to get that one too and my next book, which I'll probably start tomorrow, is uh, Alicia Keys' new book. Mm. Mm. It's similar, like a memoir, not, not really a memoir, not really a bio, but inspirational, um, daily journey journal i don't like explain it it's like a daily i don't know she kind of talks you through different things she went through in her life to kind of inspire you in in the middle of what you're going through it's pretty neat you guys know alicia keys is amazing mm. but One thing I do want to say is, if you have someone in your life that is stuck somewhere very unhealthy, mentally or physically, please recommend them to get out and move on, okay? Move on mentally, move on their heart. Move on however they can. Help them. Assist them. Do not allow them to stay stuck. They're going to be mad at you. They're going, they're going to get upset. They say you were being judgmental when they're the one that called you with their issue. You did not call them and ask them about if they have an issue. Talk to them into getting out of it. As they grow, they will honor you more and they have more respect for you because you did not lie to them. You did not allow them to waddle in that state of mind they were in. You actually... You actually motivated them to go a little harder and to pay attention to what they actually want out of life. Mm. Now these strawberries are not the sweetest in the world. I look forward to summertime getting here as fast as they can because I miss my super ripe, sweet strawberries. My strawberries definitely hit miss. You can have them huge and juicy, or maybe bitter as ever.
So, that's fruit. I don't feel it's just that. But it is delicious. I actually love this picture behind me. I got it from World Market. I love it. Mm. It is so eccentric in there. I just love, I got several things out there down through the years. Um, on Target, Target also has, excuse me, Target has a brand called Black Opal, am I saying that right? Oh, man. I don't think, I think so. I don't know. Can you give me... It's called Black Opal, y'all believe. And I love a lot of their stuff too. It's my own personality. And um, I'm just pretty unique with everything I do. There's things I like, there's things I don't like. But when it comes to my home, I try to be um, not so extra feminine. Cause I'm a boy mom and I was a boy mom for 11 years of three boys and I got four brothers and you just got to respect your male counterparts. And so I will say my room, <laughs> my room is my domain. <laughs> so I grayed out, fell in love with gray many years ago. I would gray it out, um, add a little bright here and there. But gray and white has been my thing, honey. And then I add a little color to that. Most of all, my kids are just fine with the way I do things. They don't ever complain. They're always excited. But I never want them to feel like, okay, mom, that's just, God, really? That's so girly. Does it have to be? Like, I would never invade their private space with super girly stuff. But now that I have a daughter, I can invade her space. Um, and for right now, we're sharing a space, so we get along just fine. Now, sis, sis does have a lot. I ran past her. Oh, thank you. Sis has a lot. <laughs> She's, she is taking me out of my comfort zone. Um, but I try to stay organized. I do weed out probably like every week or two. I go through what she might fit, what she might not fit, all kinds of stuff, just to be sure that um, we're not hanging on to things that are not useful. Um, I just look forward to summer. I bought her all this cute stuff, and I'm like, girl, you gonna it ain't you ain't gonna be able to fit it. You're not gonna be able to fit the spring stuff. We're gonna be right into summer, and. It's just not even gonna be that's okay though because we're gonna be alive you know there is something about staying at home and being obedient that makes you feel so you know comfortable and relaxed just um you don't listen to everybody you don't listen to everything you hear i actually personally have not watched the news or one of their uh Whatever he do, breaking COVID-19 status updates every day. I haven't watched one of those in weeks. I figure <clears throat> the information I need to know is going to come out some kind of way on somebody's status or some email or, you know, alert I get, inbox. Somebody's going to keep me up to date wherever I need to be updated. When it first started, I was like, oh, my God, I can't miss this. I can't miss what's going on in the world. Oh, my God, everything's going Honey, honey, I just want all my money back. That's all. And I mean, I prepped. <laughs> I just feel like um, I'm glad I did what I did because we have been extremely comfortable 
And I just thank God because we have not wanted for anything, especially not food and shelter. And there are some people really struggling with those things. And I pray for them every day because having being a single mom, having multiple children, and, and also you are the breadwinner for your household. Listen, it's a lot of us out here going through things, but I would not complain at all. Because <clears throat> like I said, we have wanted for nothing. I mean, I might complain and say, well, my nails done or my brows done. That is so superficial and it's so, it's almost selfish to even talk about those things when there are people fighting for their lives and people who don't have what they need to be comfortable in their homes. Not to mention all the women who are in abusive relationships and things have gotten worse because I'm not going to say nothing smart. Jesus, help me. <clears throat> because he still fails to feel adequate as a man. And now that he's lost his job or we can't get out the house or he really hates you and your children, he's bothered, he's more angry and he wants to be a terrorist and he wants to abuse the women and children in his home. He, my friend, is a coward. But moving on from that, as I said before, there are a lot of people really going through things and we all should, um, Definitely be more grateful and uh, watch how we complain about things that are so minute, um, like how I want my fruit to be sweeter. <laughs> At least I get a chance to eat some fruit, you know, because like I said, somebody is fighting for their life right now. I have a lot of friends and loved ones who's lost people. And they, you know, when this is all over, they have to say they lost them during this time or because of this time. Um, yeah, take care of yourselves. Do yourself some good. Eat good. Take care of your skin. Take care of your hair. You know, um, take care of your mind. Take care of your soul. Uh, I've been streaming online. Um, give me one second. All right, so um, I forgot what I was saying because my four-year-old distracted me. <laughs> he was flooding the sink. But anyways, so, oh, I was saying that I live streamed T.D. Jakes. I've been a member of the Potter's House for almost four years now, and I love it. I mean, God knows in heaven, I want to be in person with them, but right now, they, it's not even possible. So we all fit into the same virtual membership <laughs> status. And it has been awesome. You know, I also um, do my morning therapies with Ayala Iyala Van Zunt every morning. And she has been doing this ever since the first day of the shutdown when we all went into quarantine. Um, I have watched a lot of cooking, a lot of the um, famous people cooking, Patti LaBelle and, um, Oprah. I mean, they all have opened up their homes to us. They sit down and talk to us. Alicia Keys comes on and give different inspiration. Like, there are so many. I don't want to forget nobody, but I have paid attention to all things positive, through this moment and it's been amazing and I pray we all make it out of it healthy I know some of us won't but we all know that um, and I'm almost for I mean I am fully for certain that God's will will be done and um, I just want to encourage someone to once again just kind of take this time to Try to work on some things about yourself. You won't never be perfect, but there are things that because we are so busy and ripping and running and working 24-7 and kids and daycares and schools and listen, I'm an entrepreneur, so I got to do all that times 10. A lot of people can go clock in somewhere where there are already people already doing all those things and they're for certain they'll get their paycheck and all they got to do is their little job. And so... When you're an entrepreneur and you're a mom 
and you got all these different hats you have to wear. I'm also an aunt, I'm a sister, you know, I'm a daughter, uh, I'm a friend, I'm a cousin. I got a lot of different hats I have to wear and make sure that I'm a niece, um, make sure everybody is taken care of and I keep my word. And it's been heavy, but I think I've gotten through it because this whole time I was focusing on me better and myself, cause hey, who, it's like getting an extra chance at life when you can sit back and um, be able to analyze and change some things before they get worse or uh, fix some things you've been having on your to-do list forever. I have organized beyond organized. I can't organize anymore. I've given away, I've thrown away. I have done so much, you know, things that keep me, you know, kept me busy. So I um, recommend get, get in them closets turn you on some good music, some inspirational message or something, and I says get it done. And um, take you some notes. And the next time you go to the grocery store, grab you a book, grab you a magazine, get you some ideas to fix up the house, some different recipes you can cook for the kids. Um, I also have another video coming up because I hit the lottery. Um, well, we... My family, we hit the lottery around the first of the year. And I just want to talk about that whole experience because, you know, God is good. And um, in spite of everything going on, things have been wonderful around these parts. You know, of course, I could find a million things I could complain about. But one thing I know for sure that he would never leave me nor forsake me. And he was with me through everything. And he is God. <laughs> So, I'm going to get ready to cut this one short so you guys can look forward to a video coming up with my boo thing. And you can look forward to another video. Maybe we'll talk about how we hit the lottery in that video. I don't know. Also, I want to do some cooking ones. Give me some recipes. Give me some some things that you notice that I cook up that I've cooked before and you want to know how do I make it. I want to I want to do a cooking video and I want you guys to listen. Don't forget go like, comment and subscribe, okay? Like and subscribe. Subscribe. Hit that button right now. There's no reason why not. It's free. It is free to support people. It's free. I do it. I mean, I'm a living witness. I support so much whether it's something that I and passionate about or not, you know, whether if it's something that can benefit me or not, I support. You want me to tell you why? It's the name of the game. That's what gets it. Um, nosy people, they're supportive though, you know. You can come come be nosy. Come on, sis. Check out all my other videos. Click like, comment, subscribe, tell all your people to come watch me. Do everything you got to do. Um, to show your support. There are many ways you can show support and you don't have to pay a dime. You don't have to leave your house or anything. But I want to thank all of my supporters and everybody that's ever supported anything I've ever done. And I truly do believe that everything I touched, God blesses and it is successful. So I'm definitely going to speak my new YouTube channel um, into a place of prosperity and success. You know, and that's the mentality we have to keep and let your heart be open. Uh, <laughs> let go of all your grudges. You know, some of us have a hard time processing the things that happen to us. And because of that, people think that you're holding a grudge against them when no, you might just be upset that the act like how could you do me like that? I would never have done that to you, you know? And so that is one of the things that me, myself, with my personality that I deal with. And uh, either way, I've been working on me and I figured that out. And I am still working on it. <laughs> and that will be a lifetime journey, okay? Um, but I love you all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, give me some ideas, honey. Give me some ideas, of what kind of videos, what type of things I can talk about. There's a lot going on. I also want to do a video on nursing and breastfeeding. You know, I am a advocate of that. I've never made a formula bottle. I have four children and also my youngest is 10 months old and she is still latched on beautifully. And we have not bought a can of milk yet. <laughs> 
And uh, it's actually been an awesome experience since we've been home and in quarantine. I'm glad I didn't give up because I wouldn't have to worry about buying. Give me worry about buying uh formula and having people deliver it to me and all kinds of things and bottles and all those things that when god gave us you know most of us women which i know some of us are not able to it depends on how our body processes it to be able to um nurse our babies but if you can honey nurse that baby save your money sis i got two more months and um i'll i'll, I'll save hundreds of thousands of dollars <laughs> um so yes it's been enjoyable but yes don't forget to like comment and subscribe those are three great videos that i think i'm going to be bringing to you and i'll make sure i don't merge them all together because i need to start making videos every day stay on top of me tell me to stick with it see you guys later love you guys bye bye